Starting with the name of Almighty Allah, in this video, we'll talk about shrinkage limit of the soil, that how we can determine shrinkage limit of the soil using an Excel sheet. We have already made a detailed video on how we can determine the shrinkage limit of the soil in the laboratory. So if you haven't watched that video, you are referred to watch that video before, before watching this current video. So here you can see that video and we have discussed each and everything in our previous video. Since most of the people were asking that we are finding it difficult to uh, prepare an Excel sheet for this type of test. So that is why we have decided to prepare Excel sheet video for shrinking limit of the soil. So let's get back to the our current topic. In this video, uh, we will be determining the shrinking limit of the soil and the input values have been taken from the, from this video so that is why you need to watch this video before watching the current video so now uh, here you can see the density of mercury is 13.6 gram per centimeter cube density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube and the white cells show the input parameters while the green cells show that the formula is applied over these green cells and these cells will automatically calculate the parameters based on the input values. So you just need to play with these input parameters and you need not to play with the green cells because these cells are automated based on the formulas. So let's start. And here you can see the weighted of weight of the coated dish is 11.6 gram weight of dish plus wet soil is 42.3 gram and weight of dry plus, uh, dish plus dry soil is 31.5 gram and in the first step you need to find out the initial water content of the soil and the formula is given over here it's just a simple formula of determination of moisture content that is weight of soil solid divide, divided by uh, weight of water divided by weight of soil solid. So weight of water is basically equal to W2 minus W3. W2 weight of dry uh, weight of dish plus wet soil minus weight of dish plus dry soil. So you will obtain weight of water by subtracting these two terms. Then uh, divided by uh, as we know that weight of dry soil. So it can be obtained by subtracting weight of dish plus dry soil minus weight of dish. So this is what we will apply the formula over here w2 minus w3 that is weight of water divided by w minus w1 multiply by 100 so this is the initial water content of the soil that comes out to be 54.3 gram so the conceptualization or the concepts of shrinkage limit will be discussed in our next video that why we need to obtain the initial moisture content and how the whole process goes on and in the next step now we need to find out the volume of the wet cake how much volume is occupied by the soil when it is fully uh, saturated or you can say when it is in the state of liquid limit so what is the volume at that state so we can find out using the mercury so that is why mass of mercury filling the dish plus weight of dish that is m1 is equals to 288.3 gram now we need to find out the initial volume find out the initial volume of the wet cake or wet soil because uh, in a generic terms shrinking limit is the change in a volume so that is why m1 minus w1 w1 is the weight of dish so we need to subtract it from this term minus this divided by density of mercury so we will obtain the we will obtain the okay divided by 13.6 and you can see the initial volume of wet soil is 20.35 cubic centimeters. Now the second step is to find out the volume of the dry cake. When the soil is dried after it gets wet, 
then how much there is a change in the volume that is what we call oil. So weight of container we took another container whose weight is 68.1 gram then we have the weight of container plus mercury that is 3166 gram and then weight of container plus mercury after pressing it with the dry cake. So we have illustrated this process in our previous video so you are referred to watch that video if you find it difficult to understand this thing and the value is 2996 gram. Now we need to find out weight of mercury displaced by the dry cake. So this will be this minus this term. So 170 gram is the weight of mercury that is displaced by that dry cake. So using this weight we will try to determine the volume of the dry cake. So here you can see M5 divided by 13.6 density of mercury. So now the final volume is 12.5. So you can see when the soil is wet and it has the volume of 20.35 cubic centimeter and after drying the volume is has been reduced to 12.5 cubic centimeter. So now we need to find out the shrinkage limit using this formula and here you can see that shrinkage limit is equals to initial water content minus change in volume multiplied by density of water and then weight of soil solids into 100. So we will apply this formula initial water content then vi volume of wet cake minus volume of dry cake multiply by then C of water that is one sorry this one and divided by W3 minus W1 So here you can see the shrinkage limit is 14.85 percent. So this is how we can find out the shrinkage limit of the soil. You can also find out the shrinkage ratio as well. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and a lot.